I've had a lifelong fascination with these ever since I can remember. Always held a fascination for ants. Various attempts at keeping ants ever since childhood. Not the easiest of things in some instances to identify either. And I found a species the other day that falls into the some instances category. The ones I've found are probably some of the hardest to identify. And I'll try and explain that as I go through this video. This is a very different video. There'll be shots like this with me rattling on, then there'll be shots of the ants with me rattling on again. In the end of this video, there will be no definitive answer because this is very much a sort of work in progress video. And that work in progress involves trying to identify a species of ant that are recently found at a local garden centre. All I know is that it's certainly a new species for Nottinghamshire and it's a good and nationally. How good? I don't know yet. I need an expert. I'm back at another garden centre lurking suspiciously in amongst the pot plants and I found something too at this time it's no flatworm, it's no moth, it's no spider, it's no centipede or millipede or fly it's an ant and lots of them here's our mystery ant you can see traversing along that ledge they go into the corner there. And then come out in here. And then go down here. And the nest appears to be in that corner. specimens. I think I'll need a lot of specimens to probably send off to different people. These are going to be very very difficult to identify and I'll explain why as I rattle on but after entering the garden centre and walking into the beautifully renovated Edwardian greenhouses I immediately noticed a trail of worker ants. Now, this trail and the workers that were populating it initially didn't raise any suspicions. I just thought, you know, without looking closer, Lassius Niger, as you would in Nottinghamshire and you would over most of the UK. You wouldn't expect anything else. But the more I looked at these ants and the more I followed this trail, my suspicions that these might not be Lassius Niger, after all, grew. The main reasons for that were these, even despite the warm temperatures in the greenhouse, were very, very active. And the trails were more populated than trails of workers that I've seen, anyway, of Lassius Niger. And then it was the shape. Something didn't ring quite right for Lassius Niger. These seemed longer, thinner, very much more agile. The antenna seemed long, the legs also seemed long, and the gaster, which is the abdomen, was slightly raised. My suspicions that these were not Lassius Niger 
was then also raised. The gaster looked the wrong shape, but with my eyes being what they are, I couldn't determine what they were. But I knew by now that these were something different, and the trails were very, very active, incredibly active, lots of workers on these trails. The trails led throughout two greenhouses and then also ended up going outside and these ants after talking to staff have been a problem but one of the trails led to this citrus plant or several citrus plants which you can see here are covered with ants they're also covered with aphids and scale insects the little brown things that you can see on the midrib there the pale areas they're scale insects and scale insects produce honeydew and that's what the ants are tending the scale insects for and here's a ficus a fig with larger scale insects all being milked and attended by the ants for the honeydew the two plants, the ficus and the citrus, were in two different greenhouses and the trails were long. They went even out of the greenhouse and across a large area of pebbles and gravel and then went up the perimeter outer wall of this garden centre. The nest obviously covered a huge area and these ants were in, indeed even in the nearby restaurant attempts have been made to eradicate this colony or colonies because I think there are numerous colonies that have sort of budded off the founding colony and you can see with these workers that they're of different sizes some are only about two two point five millimeters and some are much larger than that double the size always very active i've been back several times to continually try to get some better footage but if you know your ants looking at this video you will know that these aren't lassius niger so we come on to what i think they are and after after a lot of research both in books and on the internet. I've narrowed the identification of these down to Tapinoma. Now, the UK status of Tapinoma certainly doesn't affect Nottinghamshire because there are two species in the UK and they're both very much southern county species. And one particular species is Tapinova, Tapinoma erraticum. Now, that's where the difficulty starts. Tapinoma ants are very, very difficult. Some of the most difficult from what I can gather. And there are two groups almost of Tapinoma. There are a Tapinoma erraticum group, which is probably made up of a number of species. And there's another one, a more interesting one. Tapinoma nigerinum and there's a group of species that make up the Tapinoma nigerinum group and it's one of those species that I think these are. At the moment I'm tempted to think that these may well be Tapinoma magnum, nothing to do with PI. One of the reasons it makes me think that is from what I read of the habits of Tapinoma magnum. And there's an unusual feature about these ants that if you crush one, for whatever reason, scientific purposes in my instance, they stink. They produce a really obnoxious and quite strong smell. There's also the clypeal notch, which is almost like on the face, like below where the, we'd have the nose, on that sort of upper jawline, so to speak. 
there is a distinct notch. Not all Tapinoma have them, but Tapinoma magnum and at least Nigerimus do. And the difficulty is that you often need to determine them to species in the Nigerinum group. You need to look at the genitalia of the males and males we don't have. I've no idea whether these ants have swarmed. I presume they have because yesterday when I went back, I did find a long dead queen in the web of a nearby spider. The queens are quite small, actually, much smaller than the Lassie's Niger. So, the mystery now needs solving. At the moment, as it stands, I'm looking for people that know Tapinoma really well. And I'm not expecting to get to species, not with just workers that I have available to send to someone to look at. I've had a look at them and I'm thinking it's definitely Nigerimus. So what's unusual about that? Well, as far as I'm aware, Tapinoma nigerimus or any of that group haven't occurred in the UK before. Perhaps there may well be some records in garden centres that have gone unrecorded or just haven't made it onto the NBN Atlas yet. But Tapinoma magnum is a very invasive species, forms huge colonies that cover a large area and these are exactly the same and that's occurred in a couple of countries Germany for one Switzerland I think has had some and they often appear in garden centers and that's clearly where these ants have come from been imported at some time in with a pot plant and the colony has gone from strength to strength. I've never seen a colony cover such a huge area as this colony here at our local garden centre. So, an interesting discovery, something that needs further work and research to determine, and that's why I need the help of somebody who knows more about Tapinoma ants than I do. This is an important find as far as I'm concerned, certainly in terms of locally here in Nottinghamshire, it's without a doubt a new species, but it has significance in terms of the UK as a whole. If it is Tapinoma magnum, then it's bad news because that's an incredibly invasive species and they tend to wipe out pretty much all other species of ants in the local area and they're quite feisty little things. They've not bitten me or anything like that when they've been on me. They just run around a lot. So, an interesting find, yet another one from a garden centre. They're absolutely wonderful things for the entomologist, the garden centres. You never know when you walk in there, you might be going to buy hydrangea and you come out with an Australian spider or an Australian flatworm or a Mediterranean ant. Brilliant places they really are and so when you next see me waffling on and producing another video on this tapinoma species we may well be nearer to having an answer answer get it <laughs>